Hello, fourth and fifth graders. So I have created a video here for you on what is in packet two and particularly how packet two um, is designed so that when you go to packet two, you're not confused. So with that, let's go ahead and get into packet two. So in packet two, the design was to support what was done in packet one. So if you have not completed packet one, wait on packet two and go to packet one and finish that up. Now, if you've lost packet one, it's okay. You can start out on packet two, or you can email me or class dojo me and I can send you packet one again. Now I've included a letter here and I do, I really do encourage everyone to read the letter because the letter has a lot of information. And in that letter, I um, also talk about the Zoom instruction that I am going to try to use. In saying that, I just want you to know that this first week of Zoom instruction, um, it might be a little bumpy as we try to figure out the passwords uh, for Zoom, but um, I really do hope that eventually we get it going and uh, it's a help for you. <clears throat> now, the thing about this packet that's different is I've set up the work to, um, for students to do in tracks. And so for example, in the first track, this is where you would start if you are either fourth grade or you've had no experience with recorder. Now, if you are doing the second or the third tracks, that's designed for if you have either had recorded before or you're fifth grade and you had recorded with me last year. And then the final track is designed for if you just are that advanced. I know some of my fourth graders really got all the way through green belt, maybe in purple and blue belt, and um, maybe starting at green belt again would be fine for you. If it's not, then go back to the second track and work up to that. Now you can always, you can always start at the beginner level. And then if you find that you're just doing an awesome job and you wanna move to the intermediate track, you can do that. So let's say that you are doing a yellow belt and then orange belt, and then you find that you're ready to go to green belt right away, then you can certainly do that. But I also want you to see that each of these is really designed is really designed to push you as a student, um, both as a musician and then also just as a student academically. Um, I want you to see that for the beginner track, you end up on purple belt. For the intermediate track, you end up on red belt. And then for the uh, advanced track, you actually finish book one with the black belt and you start on book two with the diamond belt. And I've included book one and two for all students in this packet. So really, ladies and gentlemen, the sky is your limit. Go as far as you want. I'm here to help you. Um, and in saying that, I just wanna um, reiterate that you guys please only go about 10 minutes a day on your work. Please do not go further than that because a few things can happen. One, you can get fatigued. You can get very tired and bored, um, frustrated even, uh, especially if you're finding that you're not successful. Second thing is that with um, music and with sports and anything where you're doing something repetitive, you have to build what's called muscle memory. And then muscle memory um, can work against you if you're practicing things the wrong way. So that's why I say start slow with small amounts of time and then you can build up, okay? Um, so that's just my two cents on making sure that you use that 10 minutes a day the best you can. Now, if you are doing ORF karate, which is gonna be piano, <clears throat> then you have two tracks. You have an intermediate track, which is gonna, excuse me. You have a beginner track, 
and then you have an intermediate track. Now, your beginner track is going to start at the very, very beginning. We're going to be looking at making our first notes, we're going to be looking at our fingerings, we're going to be looking at our hand placement, and it's designed to um, really, if you've never had piano before or you've had no p very little training, this is where you'd start. However, if you have had piano training, then you can start here, and this is the intermediate track. Okay, um, in this track, you should be familiar with using both hands when you're playing piano. You should know what chords are. You should know possibly what some scales are. Um, you should also know what a block chord is versus a broken chord. And if you don't know that information, there's no shame in that. You probably just want to start at the beginner track for now. And then, like with the recorder karate, eventually you can move over to the intermediate track. Now, with that, I will tell you that the pieces are different with the ORF karate than they are with the recorder karate. And that wasn't the way it was in packet one. So in packet two, I've actually designed some pieces that are different for the ORF karate pieces. Okay, so the last part that I wanna talk about is just what the pieces look like. They look no different than what your recorder karate packet one looked like. Um, and then I also wanna show you that in right there, you have book level two. And we go from diamond belt all the way to the very, very top, which is called a black, uh, there it is, black gold belt. Okay, um, so that would be the very, very top of the recorder karate. Now in the last part of the packet, this is where I have the ORF karate pieces. And my ORF karate pieces, um, I've given you the names of the notes because you're having to read music um, on the piano, and um, it can be challenging at times, but uh, I've given you the names of the notes, and then I've also given you um, some hints. So take longer on the half notes, make sure you're counting all the way, all of those things. And ORF is really not just piano, it's gonna be xylophones and any kind of bar instruments, so that's why this is called bar and star Bars and Stars. Um, but I'm using it for piano instruction because I think it's accessible for you. And so, as you can see, the pieces get harder. Um, but again, this is supposed to be six weeks of instruction. So you have time to get to that black belt level. Now, in addition to the pieces, I've also included variations for you to work towards. So for example, if you're a beginner on Wednesday, Friday, instead of just playing the piece with the melody line that you saw, um, now you're, <clears throat> excuse me, you're working towards adding a left hand accompaniment um, with the roots of the chord only. But if you are intermediate, you're working on the green piece, or the orange piece and you're playing this in both hands or you're adding a half note accompaniment. So I've designed every track to where one, you're not gonna get bored, two, it's gonna be a challenge for you, and three, I really think it's gonna be a lot of fun for you. So I hope that these um, assignments are really going to allow you to continue to make great progress in your music I look forward to seeing you when I see you, um, even if it's virtually in one of those Zoom sessions, and I look forward to hearing how things are going for all of my students. So goodbye, you guys. Enjoy week one of our Packet 2 work.